I have another requested video. Um, this is a lot just to set up. This is all just my setup. So this is just what I would personally write down given the question. I'm being a little more thorough actually than maybe I generally would under uh, exam conditions. Uh, nonetheless, this is what we have. So we have a, an automobile worth 15,000. And, um, <coughs> thank you. Uh, make sure that uh, you're aware of the sort of situation. These questions sometimes they like to give you things in thousands and then say other things are in thousands, but not write it that way. So what I mean here is uh, they, they tell me that the law, the damage amount is in thousands. So notice this goes from the damage goes from zero to 15 in thousands. So that's why I actually changed it. The original question says that the automobile worth is 15 and they put thousands. I'm going to change this to 15. Because I want to keep all the units basically the same. So everything is in thousands. The deductible is in a thousand, so it's one. Uh, the automobile worth is 15,000. All right, hopefully that makes sense. And now they give me some um, probabilities. Well, they give me two, actually. So if D is the event of partial damage, uh, that probability of that occurring is 0.04. Uh, probability of total damage is 0.02, which means probability of no damage is 0.94. They don't give me this, but obviously, I mean, that's the only situation that can happen, right? These three things, they add up to one, so it makes sense. Uh, the payment, so we're interested in the expected payment. And if you've seen other videos of mine, you know that I usually use a payment uh, using X sub P. This is the insurance payment. Uh, what is it equal to? Well, since it's a deductible, so a typical situation, right? Since the deductible is one, we pay nothing. I'm the insurance company. I pay nothing if your loss, if your damage to your automobile is less than one. Um, I pay the loss, uh, the damage amount minus your deductible. If it's between one and 15, because that's when partial damage occurs. All right, strictly less than 15. That's important, actually. And then what if you get total damage? This is total damage, right? Total damage, I'm going to pay you 14 because you're deductible. Quite important to set this up correctly. Now let's see if we can answer the question. Again, the question is um, the expected uh, insurance payment. So let's give ourselves some room. All right, so I wanna know, I'm gonna be quite thorough with this. So hopefully you understand, uh, hopefully this is easy for you to follow, okay? My philosophy is that you don't understand something until you can explain it in simple terms. So that's what I like to do. I like to explain things as simple as possible well, that's the, that's the goal. That's the goal. I'm not saying I always do. So I want to know what is the expected uh, insurance payment. Again, I'm going to write this out thoroughly. I need to basically use the mixture approach uh, for exponential, or sorry, for uh, expectation. This is equal to uh, the expected payment given partial damage times the probability of partial damage, plus uh, the expected payment given total damage times the probability total damage, okay? One more, I'm gonna write it out, and you're gonna think about this, plus the expected payment given no damage times the probability no damage. So, uh, hopefully you agree that uh, what I have so far is absolutely what you want. Is absolutely what you want. So let's write out what we can. Let's write out what we know. Yeah, maybe I better leave that. Um, so this is the setup. Let's, let's look at the probabilities first and then uh, maybe these expectations, um, if we can deal with them, we will. So first of all, first of all, when you're using this mixture approach for expectation, I've said this before and I'll say it again. These, these, this, this, and this must add up to one. That's the only way that this makes any sense. Those have to add up to one. And they do. Because those basically consume all the possibilities, right? Either you get partial damage, no damage, or total damage. Now, one of these I can eliminate immediately. Okay, um, what is the expected payment given I have no damage? That's zero. So this is zero. Now I wrote it out because um, 
it may not always be zero. You need to be careful sort of thing. Just write it out properly and then think about what it should be. Uh, what's the expected uh, payment given partial damage? So um, if you go back to our, our payment there, our payment piecewise defined random variable, uh, the payment is equal to, for partial damage, is equal to the damage amount minus one, minus the deductible. So, and that's gonna go uh, from, from zero uh, to 15. From zero to 15, and this is going to be x minus one, okay, times 0 0.5, zero zero three times uh the pdf the conditional pdf which of course i got rid of no big deal but this is um e to the negative x over two dx okay uh times the probability that there are par is partial damage probability of partial damage is 0.04 so 0.04 okay now i need to add that to what is the expected payment given that there is total damage if there is total damage um what are you going what is the insurance company going to pay well there's a deductible of a thousand and i wrote it as one in thousands so the expected payment is 14. because the total damage remember total damage means the automobile is completely annihilated and that's worth fifteen thousand. well there's a deductible of one thousand so i'm going to pay you 14. so there's going to be plus 14 times the probability of there being total damage. That's 0 0.02. And then plus zero. So this is what we need to compute and we're done. And we're good to go after this. So let's see if I can fit it here. Um, here we need integration by parts, of course. You should be extremely familiar with this. <clears throat> Always use the tabular method. I've gotten so used to using the tabular method, I don't even write it down anymore. So what I mean is the following. This is equal to this integral. I'm just gonna bring out 0 0.04 times 0 0.5003 times the integral, integration by parts. This is going to be uh, negative two x minus one e to the negative x over two minus uh, four e to the negative x over two going from zero uh, to 15. And actually I just realized something. I'm not starting at zero. Where am I starting? I'm starting at one. Insurance payment is zero uh, when the damage is between zero and one. I'm starting at one, and I'm starting at one. And plus 14 times 0 0.02, so uh, 0.28. Plug in my endpoints and I'm good to go. I mean, maybe I should just write down the answer after this. Convince yourself that this is what you get for integration by parts. This is just easy peasy after this, right? So this is just equal to, this actually gives you 0 0.32819, but it's in thousands. Therefore, um, this is going to be approximately, uh, the expected insurance payment will be approximately uh, 328, because I need to multiply by 1,000, and that answers the question. Tell me what you think comment below and uh, thank you for subscribing.